Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through XRP and I have quite an urgent update for you today because XRP is hitting right into the CC resistance. This is a very important level. Um, so I wanted to do this video this morning, talk you through XRP and go over the next sort of support resistance levels that I am very much aware of as I am trading XRP right now as we're speaking. Uh, well, obviously not literally right now as we're speaking, but I am I'm holding long positions on XRP. So, so let, let's go through the charts together. So XRP, XRP, XRP. Obviously, it's got a love-hate relationship between a lot of people. Uh, you ask me about this coin, I'm not going to tell you anything about the fundamentals. Honestly, if you've been a part of this channel for a while now, you'll have absolutely know this is a technical analysis channel. We only trade the charts. For us, the news is irrelevant. The news is noise. And at the end of the day, well, I can give you evidence here that XRP is absolutely respecting technical analysis. So we don't need to get involved in all of the uh, theories, conspiracies, news, lawsuits, etc, etc. Let's just trade the charts because, hey, that's where the money is at the end of the day. Uh, so XRP. And you remember a while ago, we obviously were originally trading that. You remember this? If you've been following, I'm pretty sure we even have this on Twitter. We were originally trading the symmetrical triangle. That symmetrical triangle broke to the downside. Obviously, then we got the retest of that CC. I've been obviously holding my long positions in this for a little bit. This was, what, about four days ago. Trading at 127. We're now trading back up at 153. So bringing it back a second, obviously where we, let me just zoom in here. I'll just talk you through this pretty briefly of what happened on XRP. It's pretty, you know, just to show you how well it has actually been trading. Uh, we obviously had the original downturn on this. We put in a bit of a triangle. Okay, symmetrical triangle. We can say this is, you know, arguably more likely to break to the downside, remembering that they are continuation patterns. So we come down, formed a triangle, broke to the downside. Okay, fairly standard stuff. Uh, I'm obviously looking at this on the line chart. I think line charts are a little bit more clear at times. Uh, where did that break down to? Well, in the end, it broke down to the really big level of support, I want to say, of just the psychological $1. You got a bit of a swing failure pattern through $1, which in my opinion just increased the amount of bullishness. You also came down to the CC, obviously pulling this from where it originally started to get that massive like impulse move up to the, well, you know, just the high back at the 14th, so a few weeks ago now. We pulled out and we got the CC and when it when it swing failure patterned the lows, yeah, we, we go through and we touch the top of the CC. And then if we look at this again, well, just so well, actually there's no point, you, just as I show you over on Twitter a few days ago, we obviously bounced off that CC, we came back into the top at that point of the trend line. We obviously have broken through that, leading us up to where we are absolutely right now. And I will pull this one for you just to show you exactly what we're on about here. We pull our fib from the current high to the low down here. And you will see that we have basically to the absolute dollar hit into the CC, the top of the CC resistance there. So that is a to the dollar trade. And there's a few things as you as you will know if you've if you've if you followed us a while then um, we like to trade our altcoins like I'm so I'm obviously trading this over on Bybit at the moment. Uh, still in this long position on Bybit. And the way that I trade this is I'm looking, obviously I'm trading the USD pair and I've been holding just, you can obviously hold spot on Bybit. So I've been holding spot uh, XRP for a while because I recognized that XRP uh, had a little bit of strength. Again, just a small allocation of my portfolio size, but still a decent amount of money. And then when it got that swing failure pattern of $1, that's where I entered my leverage long position. So I hold this leverage long and... I'm looking at this, you know, of, of two factors, really. When we uh, look at the USD pair, we obviously know we're hitting into the CC. But I obviously like to look at my alts while comparing it against Bitcoin. And we can see here, when we zoom out onto the four-hour chart on this, when we also pull a high-term time frame, FIB level, okay, we'll take our CC once again from the current high, really massive high, all the way back in November 2020 to the lows. OK, we can see that. Oh, man, <laughs> we can see that we bashed into the CC. Uh, this would have been back on the 14th of April. Obviously, it had about a 40 percent retracement to the downside. And we made a video, obviously, around the 14th of April, uh, you know, explaining to you during a live stream. XRP has hit into the CC resistance. This is a really, really, really big resistance level. You've really got to be aware of it. And obviously, that was when XRP pulled back a total from that high on the 14th. 55% pullback. 
okay so it was really you can see how i'm trading this and it is i, I want to say it's a pretty clever way of trading <laughs> um you you look at the bit you look at the underlying assets like the sport assets against bitcoin and then you use that while you're trading the usd pair because obviously i can't trade bitcoin uh you know i can't trade xrp versus btc because i'm 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 only on an exchange which trades USD. So I look at XRP BTC just for a reference while trading, obviously, the USD pair itself. Um, and, you know, this is just how I trade. And, you know, I think it works extremely well. So I'd recognized, obviously, back on the 14th that XRP against Bitcoin had hit into the CC, top of the CC, very big, very, very, very big resistance level. Obviously, there's no point in buying up at that level. It's just crazy if you're buying. You get a 55% pullback, and that's the time to buy. Yeah, you want to buy those retracements. So we obviously came back into the lower CC. We then got a secondary bounce off the CC. And then, hey, the rest is history. We make our way up to the top of the CC, yeah? And just on the X XRP BTC pair, we're also back into the CC. So we, we can acknowledge we're at a resistance here. Yeah, this is this is, this is is a resistance again. Um, You know, not to be... You know, ignored. I suppose it's definitely definitely a key resistance. I, I truly believe that we're at the CC once again on the B B Bitcoin pair, and obviously the USD pair is at this, this CC. So what what could we expect right now? Well, um, overall, I would like to see higher on on both you know on both of these charts, but I think it's acceptable to imagine that we're going to get a pullback off of this to come up and ultimately then try and retest again the highs. No, so just on the like on the Bitcoin pair, if we can come down and test this last area of consolidation, as long as we hold it and we make a higher low, we can expect it to push on again higher. You know, I just want to emphasize once again, this this for me is honestly such a big level. Uh, it's literally, literally really, really, really honestly is a massive level. So if we can clear this, then I think XRP can absolutely run again, uh, probably back up towards those highs. Let's just say if we clear this last area of consolidation from clearing that, which gives us about, uh, let's just say 0 0.00003 three sats we'd be looking for about another 30 percent rise i'd say to clear those highs but um you know i just want to really emphasize right now that we are at a very 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 big resistance um on the bitcoin pair and on the xrp usd pair i was looking at that big resistance around zero uh sorry 1.76 is my big resistance about 1.1.76 so that that would be another rise of about 16 percent so you know there's a little bit of difference between them both but ultimately i'm going to really base it off this bitcoin pair i want to see something that was also really nice so i love to like ramble on when i do my technical analysis it's just like I, I love what i do so much this was actually so technical and this is what you know some people say that xrp isn't technical it doesn't respect technical analysis, but it tr tr truly does so i really liked xrp at the start of this correction obviously i knew that we had hit the cc so i knew that we we're at resistance and then obviously we're looking for the pullback okay and this one retraced really really nicely if you like elliott waves it, it retraced very nicely where we put in a three wave move for, to form a w at the time then we put in another three wave move to put in an x and then we put in another three wave move to form a y so we put in a wxy and when you look at your fibonacci uh, extensions from the um, top of the retracement to the bottom of w to the top of x see how really 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 nicely we came into the one-to-one -one off of this if you know Elliott Wave Theory, then you know this is what you look for. And so you got your WXY correction. And look at how perfect it really was when we hit the low of the one-to-one -one with a wick down through. And then when we come to get the back test, we back tested that one-to-one -one extension. And obviously that was also simultaneously back testing the CC on the um, XRP BTC pair. And obviously this was on XRP USD. We also back tested the CC there again. So, you know, this is just like screaming at you, buy, 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 buy. You know, that for me is anyway, screaming at me, buy 1,000, you know, nearly coming on 1,600% gains on that one. And it's just a simple case of, you know, it's really not that difficult. You know, I remember 100% calling XRP resistance on around the 14th. Uh, it would have been the Friday. So whatever the Friday was, I'd done that stream. So around the 16th, while we were just hitting it, I would have been calling it around here, like making people aware we're, we're at a really, really, really massive resistance. So be careful. <laughs> this is the time that you sell. And obviously we got that 50% pullback. If you didn't sell, then it does. I guess it's not the end of the world because we're back up at the level, but you could have had 50% more XRP if you listened. We obviously start to get that downtrend. We form our WXY correction. Okay, fair enough. We put in our one-to-ones. We, we bounce off the CCs off the XRP BTC pair simultaneously 
you know, swing failure pattern of $1, getting a bounce back above. And we obviously had that key level of uh, 1.01 if you've been following us for XRP analysis. And then we obviously held that on the back test also on the CC. Hung, you know, everything's brilliant. Everything's good. So we're coming back up now into the CC level. This is obviously our, our resistance. Let's just uh, emphasize that once more. This is resistance right now on XRP. So I think this is definitely a sensible take profit. Again, that, that doesn't mean close all your positions. Doesn't mean, you know, short it even. It just means take profits. Yeah, it just means take profits. Um, you really want to see this hold a higher low. I would. I would want to see this hold a higher low if we get a pullback here. If we just blast straight through, we blast straight through. But if we get a pullback, I'd really like to see it hold market structure, continue to higher lows. <clears throat> And yeah, that, 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 that's what I'm thinking. If we can break through this, I'm looking for 1.76 on the USD pair. And if we break through this on the Bitcoin pair, well, I'm looking for a pretty substantial rise. I think we can come back up and test the highs, to be honest with you. Um, you know, this is what I love about these. This, You know, this is kind of what I do find funny about, um, you know, the altcoins that a lot of the projects that pump the hardest are like what loads of people say are scam coins. Like I'm, I'm also long on like Bitcoin cash right now. Loads of people say this is a scam coin. I'm long on XRP. People say this is for, the, for me, I don't really care um, <clears throat> because I think you have to just view it doesn't doesn't matter what you're trading. It doesn't matter. The, I think I've even tweeted about this, you know. So many things that I tweet about, but, um, you know, I'm pretty sure I tweeted about XRP saying it does, doesn't really matter what you're trading. At the end of the day, we're trading to make money. So don't hold like your biases against a coin. You know, who cares? Who cares? Um, no, that was when we were consolidating. That was what the one I've talked about. Anyway, if you go back through my tweets, you're going to be able to see it somewhere in here. You know, I, I remember tweeting about it. Yeah, there you go. Don't marry an asset and just trade. There you go. This was the one. I'm, don't marry an asset and just trade for volatility. Technical analysis works against every asset. So it doesn't matter what you're trading. Just be happy that you're trading it. It's volatile. And, <clears throat> you know, what I mean is don't hold these biases. Like, oh, I'm not trading that because it's a scam coin. At the end of the day, if you can make money on it, we can trade it. So that, that's my viewpoint anyway. I don't really care what it is. As long as I can make money, I'll, I'll, I'll trade it. And hey, I'm making quite a bit of money on XRP, to be fair. So uh, that's the analysis on XRP today. A bit of a quick one. How long? 10, 12 minutes. Yeah, not, not that quick, I suppose. But enough to go through what I've been thinking. Our corrective pieces of this are now getting our impulse off the off the back of it. The resistances that we are definitely running into that you've got to be aware of. Uh, the levels should we break through are where I'm looking to the upside again, 1.76 and uh, well, basically the last high on the Bitcoin pair. If we pull back here, we really want to hold a higher low into this area of consolidation. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm staying in my long positions. I think this is a nice take profit, but I'm not closing out my longs because there's not actually been a sign of weakness yet. Yeah, this pullback isn't a sign of weakness as of yet. You know, as of yet. This can change in a few hours. Of course it can. But as I'm speaking, I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. And uh, yeah, there you go. So obviously I've got to end with these legal disclaimers, unfortunately, I suppose. But yeah, uh, le legal trade disclaimer, no financial advice, entertainment, educational video only, of course. Do your own research. But there you go. That, that, that's how I'm trading. So hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash up the likes, I suppose, if we get... I don't know. I'll give you a hard target. A thousand likes. I don't really think we're going to get it. But if you get a thousand likes, I suppose I'll do maybe a Cardano analysis because I'm also trading Cardano as well. So or even a Bitcoin cash analysis. So if you want either of those, uh, smash the likes and, I, and I'll, I'll bring you it, I suppose. If not, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and I'll catch you in the next analysis that we do. And uh, thank you ever so much. Cheers and goodbye.